Hi everybody, Randy Wakeman here. It's another hot and humid day in Northern Illinois. We're back with the Savage 110 in 400 Legend. Now, unfortunately, even, even though the 400 Legend was announced well over a year ago, to my knowledge, there are only two factory loads and they're both Winchester. The Winchester PowerPoint 215 grain and the Deer Season XP 190 grain. Oddly, the ballistics are only published for the PowerPoint. And those are on the back of the box, they're on the Winchester website. So from what I can see so far, we don't have any published ballistics for the Deer Season XP. No velocity, uh, no drop, nah, no nothing. So that's odd. So this one thing that is unfortunate about the 400 Legend is that it, at least at this juncture, it doesn't seem to be getting a lot of industry support. I don't see loads from Remington or Hornady on down the line. Right now it's just Winchester. So that leaves the consumer with the choice of two hunting loads. And either your individual rifle likes one or perhaps both of these Winchester loads, or it doesn't. And if it doesn't, you don't have uh, anything else to try, at least not yet. So, let me grab the Savage 110. The Savage 110 actually is an excellent handling rifle. Uh, I really like it in 350 Legend. So this is essentially the same platform. The first Savage that came in had a defective safety problem. Big problem, actually. So it went back to Savage. They did not repair the safety. They sent uh, a completely new gun for review, and here it is. Just as before, um, this version comes with a, a crossfire 3x9x40 Vortex scope which for an OEM deer rifle in a box type scope is very good. So it used to be the old Pine Ridge scopes, a lot of them that were just horrible, but uh, I have been impressed with the economical Vortex scopes. So I have fresh paper set up at a laser verified 60 yards. I've not shot it yet, of course it's just bore sighted. So I'll take a couple shots see if we have holes in the paper and um, make our course adjustments and see if this round wants to group. Naturally we need to get some earplugs in. And we'll zoom down. Try to get the target a little bit centered for you. So we can see what happens. Well, it's certainly low, but extremely well centered for just a bore sided array. We've cranked up the scope, and let's see if the scope does what I've asked it to do.
So, not the same hole, but that's certainly a minute of whitetail, but again, this is just at 60 yards. So I think what I'll do, even though I don't know the ballistics and I've got a target uh, flapping around a little bit, I'll take a couple shots with the lighter bullet, the XP, and see if it noticeably shoots any better or worse, or higher or lower. So that's what it does. Accuracy based on only two shots just off of a bag without a without a bunny bag or a rest. Hardly definitive but uh, they both seem to want to group adequately for minute of whitetail. But the question is, is it worth buying a 400 Legend or uh, sticking with a 350 Legend? If you have a 350 Legend, is it worth upgrading? So the answer is, as far as I'm concerned, if you have a 350 Legend that you're happy with, like the Savage uh, 110, which I do have in 350 Legend, is excellent, uh, certainly out past 200 yards. I would say stick with it, because you can't kill the deer past dead. Now for those who like to look at energy numbers, just kinetic energy absolutely does not tell the story as far as being able to cleanly bag a deer. If you look at the muzzle velocity and energy of a 357, 357 Magnum out of a six and three quarter inch vented barrel handgun. You can take a look. The energy numbers are extremely unimpressive. Yet, I can tell you from firsthand experience that from a handgun out to 50 yards, put a good bullet in the right place, it's go pick up the deer every single time. That's just a 357. If you look at a 44 Rem Mag out of a handgun, I can tell you that that wax deer as clean as a whistle at 100 yards. And out of a rifle, obviously you get better ballistics, somewhat better ballistics, particularly if the loads are using a bit slower burning propellant, propellants suitable for rifles. But you can look at the kinetic energy numbers of a 44 Magnum at the muzzle and at 100 yards and you would say, ah, that's nothing. But we know that uh, a 240 grain Hornady XDP at 100 yards is going to whack a deer just instantly. I mean, it's just no problem. So don't be misled by the energy numbers as far as I'm concerned, because you can only uh, kill a deer, you can only kill a deer so dead. It's hard to kill them past dead. So certainly a 44 Magnum, which is actually I think a 429 inch diameter bullet uh, at a low velocity out of a handgun, we get 1240 feet per second. The velocity isn't there. The energy numbers that come primarily from velocity uh, aren't there either. But yet, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's a terrific deer round at short ranges, out to 100, maybe 125 yards. And then, of course, you have the snowball from hell trajectory. So, 
Um, it's kind of confusing. I've mentioned this before, how the straight wall thing came about. Because normally, if I'm looking at a rifle, I'm looking for a flatter trajectory, less drop, less wind drift. And compared to uh, my all-time favorite, 270 Winchester, all of these rounds are pathetic. 350 Winchester is just hit the switch and pick them up out to 350 yards all day long. And I've taken Blue Wildebeest, uh, Caribou, Moose. Uh, took a Moose in Newfoundland uh, over 400 yards with a 270 Winchester. So the right bullet in the right place, it really does the trick. It's just not a problem. So um, rather than thinking about the hunters and legalizing the old 3030 Winchester, which is uh, a great short to moderate range deer rifle and has been uh, since since before long before I was born. Uh, we've artificially lowered the ballistics, increased the drop, increased the wind drift, and it just doesn't make any sense in order to have a new cartridge. As far as I'm concerned, it's odd, and it's also odd in Illinois, where they have to be single shots. Now, in a perfect world, uh, there is no such thing as a follow-up shot. But um, regardless of your stance on things, the world is a lot less than 100% perfect all the time. So Illinois's regulations of one shot. Um, Bolt actions don't go full auto. I mean, they don't go semi-auto. Very, it's the slowest cycling of any repeater, slower than a lever action. So the whole idea of making the world a better place by living to one shot, it just means more lost and crippled deer. That's all. Very, very dumb. So they don't care about the deer, and they don't care about the hunters. That's pretty obvious. Nothing wrong with the 400 Legend, but trajectory-wise, it gets you almost nothing over the 350 Legend. Uh, there are loads coming out all the time. There is a new Hornady load, uh, Hornady Black load that's 2,500 feet per second at the muzzle. And the difference between trajectory of that load in 350 Legend and the 400 Legend is just trivia. So, um, as a practical matter, if you need ammo and you're on the road, maybe you hunt Ohio, Indiana, as well as Illinois, and you screw up, everybody does that from time to time, 350 Legend ammo is pretty easy to get. And it's easy to get from many, many different manufacturers. So, as far as the 400 Legend, there's nothing wrong with it, and I understand that ammunition manufacturers uh, have a real problem. I mean, it's confusing because they've got to come up with a cartridge that comports to confusing arbitrary rules for Southern Michigan, for Ohio, for Illinois, um, public land in Indiana. It's a mess. So you got to, all these DNRs have slightly different regulations. So what's legal in Illinois may not be legal in uh, Southern Peninsula of Michigan and vice versa. Drives people nuts. So compromises have to be made in order to keep all the states, all the so-called straight wall cartridge states, happy. So maybe they're doing that, but they're not, they're not making deer hunters completely happy. Anyway, I have, uh, there's only two rounds I can test, and I do not have an unlimited supply of either one, and I can't comment on uh, the 190 grain deer season XP ballistics yet. So, I'm going to give you the same advice I give to my neighbor, um, yeah, um, my brother in law, anybody. It's like, uh, it's too early yet for the 400 Legend. 